guys, today I have a job for uh, a customer, her name's Angela, uh, I'm just going to, that's enough for that information, <laughs> but this one's um, a uh, overheating job, she just wants a thermal paste done, fan cleaned out, etc, uh, I'll lubricate the fan if I can, uh, if it's, you know, dis disassemblable, is that a word? Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. I'll just go to the overhead and oh, let's get a bit closer. Oh. So, of course, I turn it off instead of. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, hopefully, that'll be close enough. Maybe. All right, let's get some screws out of this thing and understand what's going on. Uh, so, get the back plate off first. And I could do with a bit of magnetism. And my weeha. So, let's get this out. I was uh, not very prepared here. Just buckle this over here. So, RAM hard drive. Let's get some of these screws out. Oh, battery first. Right. Good size battery. Long life. Anyway, let's get our hard drive out. Same screws as the bottom cover. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So I just put all those screws together. Oh, that seems really... Is that just me? Or is it really dark? Is that better? I don't know. Probably not. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's get this hard drive out. Uh, there goes the phone. Let me just pause. Okay, of course I'm bound to get interruptions. So, where was I? Get this hard drive out. Oh, I'm dropping everything everywhere. Okay, I'll just undo that one from there. One hard drive out. Now, screws. Uh, I think I'll start at the top and work around. So, left hand top corner to me. Next one. I sort of just lay them out in order if you can see that. I can pull back a bit. And that way I just put them back in exactly the way they were. And all these screws seem to be a little bit different. if there's any hiding under these rubbers. We'll have a look at that later, see how we go. So the next one along. I just want to get to this fan and heat sink. Sort of row 
What's next? So we've got a crisscross pattern here. Nice big screws on this one anyway. Same as this one. All the same down the middle row, except for this one by the looks. Don't come out. Yeah, it will. Nothing. Ah. And if, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little arrow by that one. It means there's a screw under it. And the others don't have that little arrow. Okay, so let's get that off. What can I get that off with? Something like this. There we go. Yes, and there's a screw under there. Let's put that back on there. Let's uh, screw out. Yep. Now, I really don't know. Keyboard has to come out first, or Let's see what happens. Looks like that's lifting from there. Maybe I should start at the... Oh, here we go. Where are we going? No. Get a, get a start in there. Yep, looks good. Nice. Let's go across the other way. Oh, that could help. Let's turn him around a bit. 
That's how to get the bottom cover off nicely. Actually, I think we lift up from this side, it comes across. Looking that way, we're stuck in this corner somewhere. Clips here, that's good. And voila. Okay, so now we have access. Looks nice and clean. Now a little bit of dust there, not much. You can see here, minimal where the fan was. We'll get it off and have a look and see what the thermal paste is like. Right. Now, the fan's pretty clean. I wonder if I can zoom in a bit better. Yeah, it's pretty clean so I'm going to take all this off and this is the area we're talking about everything else looks nice nice and clean definitely no liquid damage of any kind little bits of dust but we'll give that a clean up let's get this out get this in the middle of the of the screen here but personally it's not uh, not as comfortable for me so just undo these screws for the heat sink so like video card here and CPU on this side another screw this, no, one here on the fan ah, tiny one and I think we'll just come straight up, yes and if I just flip it well Looks like some no this is original but it's not it's not dry as dry. Anyway, we'll give it a good clean up. Let's pull this fan out. Yes. So I'll clean all this up first, put this aside, then I'll work on the work on this fan here. I normally just to begin with Let's get an, any old rag of, you know, pretty lint free and just basically give it a good wipe first. Get all this nice and clean ready for application of thermal paste. Maybe this has been uh, serviced before. Thermal paste? I don't know. Didn't seem to notice that it had been opened before. But anyway.
Okay, that's a basic clean. Now let's give it. Yeah, why not? Let's go under the microscope and give it some isopropyl alcohol and clean up that other stuff. Now, where are we? That work for us? Pretty damn clean. Let's give it a good clean around the edges and on top, just preliminary. Okay. Uh, and there's the phone again. Excuse me. Okay, back again uh, after using the compressor. You can see how beautiful it's come up. I don't know if you can see down into the into the fins here, but I can see through there, like the light, beautifully. No, we're going to focus. There you go. There you go, through the fins. Okay. So, nice and clean all around. Now, time to uh, put it back together. So, let's do that. Let's get uh, any dust out from around here. Hazard of fixing computers, dust, especially a lot of uh, desktops. <laughs> All right, um, let's get the heat, uh, some thermal paste on here. So, guess what's in this box? So, I've always got plenty of it, different kinds. This one's uh, Arctic MX4 is my go-to. So, and let me show you how I like to apply this. So what I do, I'll get the lid off. Yeah, which never comes off because it's so damn tight. Uh, got him. Right, so what I do, I just put a little splurge, whoop, maybe too much, right. and I just use the top of the lid here, I know some people just put a blob in the middle and, um, you know, they just squash it down and it doesn't cover every, every little piece, but if I just use the top of this, I can spread it, as you see, right to the edges.
and this way I don't get an over application or too much it's not squeezing all the way out the sides like you saw when I um, uh, disassembled it so you know nice even coating that'll, that'll uh, uh, talk down or pressure down very nicely same with this one here it might be a little bit much on there but I reckon it's just about right just using the top of the lid or the bottom of the lid I guess spread it right round to the edges and the corners maybe even a touch more yep just my method there's many different methods of doing this but I like to spread it it'll feel much better and you know even the blob method sometimes it doesn't reach the very edges so if you can see that nice and neat and tidy I can put my thermal paste away that should give some really good conductivity let's put my paste away here and the other stuff and now we're ready just line up these where are we yep line up these screws down we go nice and let's get them started anti-clockwise listen for the first click then go click clockwise yeah, always you hear the click always a good um, a good method anti-clockwise and you notice I'm going diagonally as well listen for the click see and then clockwise you know you've got the thread in this one click threads in okay so just basically finger tight first on the on the CPU second one same thing click click there we go just finger tight and then I give it the heavy finger but basically I'm just using these three fingers to to go oh these three fingers just to go like that and that's all the torque that you need you don't want to be doing it up so tight that you strip everything and you don't want to be too loose either now the really important thing is never forget to plug the fan back in yes it's happened to me he put it all back together and the fans not spinning so never 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 forget to plug the fan back in <laughs> and I hope I made the point clear now, uh, pretty sure it goes that way or does it with my tweezers I might do this under the uh, microscope because even at this distance my eyes are bad so let's have a look here I can't remember which way around it went uh, I'm guessing I could always go go back and look at the video, couldn't I? There we go, in properly. I'm happy. Uh, okay. 
Head back to the overhead. Uh, I can zoom out now, I think. Uh, where's my zoom? Yay. Alright, let's put this back together. And we should have a happy customer. So, first things first. Put our cover. Our back cover. Yeah. Make sure we're lined up properly there. Yes. Click it in. Get those tabs back in. It's not clicking there. Yeah. Oops, that's what's in the way. But oh. very nice. Just check all the edges, make sure that uh, everything's going back in nicely. There we go. A bit of overkill, but normally the screws will just pull them into line, but you know, okay. So, screws. Ah, what mistake did I make? What mistake did I make? I know, I can hear you now. So, let's take it back off. And of course, this with my fingernails. Guess what mistake I made? Hey, okay. think about it. <laughs> I don't have to because I know. There we go. All right, very easy, very simple. One screw for the fan, right there. Right. I should have checked that, but anyway, not too much of a drama. That's why I like using two of these magnetic pads, and I separate them. Normally, I do bottom, top if needed, and and another one for inside the computer or screws that are inside so I use it as three layers if you need four layers we'll just use another one anyway just my methods they might help you so now I've got that screw back in we'll go back to putting all this back together again Ah, uh, can't shoot them first time. There we go.
All right, all very straightforward. Now, might as well put this back in now because there's got no screws on this edge here. That's all clipped in properly. Looks like it goes that way. I think. Of course not, it goes that way. There we go. Now, there's no screws under there. So, let me put the hard drive back in. Click. There we go. Nice and snug. Uh, that can wait. Let's get these screws in the middle here. I seem to have got my lights. Lights seem to be different. Or is it just me? Yeah. Or maybe because it's of the sun. I don't know. Anyway, let's get these screws back in. So, let's start at the top left. Top left screws. And away we go. Same principle, just really thumb and forefinger, well, we thumb and forefinger tightness. Get down, thumb and forefinger, done. So these are all big screws, all the same size except for this one here. So I'll work that one in. And let's go for it. So before um, I did this job, I did a, a test in front of the customer. What was her name? Angela, I think. Yep. And it was getting up. Well, if I remember rightly, 84, 83 degrees, getting a bit warm. So let's see if we how far this has brought the um, the core temperature down on the CPU. Once I get it back together, so I'm hoping, and that's under load. Just using Ada Extreme, is it? I don't know how you pronounce it. Ada, Ada. I'll see if we can catch a shot of that shortly to end the video with. Two more screws in the back cover. Battery will boot it. I'll see if I can get. Um, I can do it from here, can't I? Yeah. Get a look at uh, it booting up. Uh, I mean, doing the stress test. Okay. 
Okay, covers in, screw. It's too blurry to see anyway. <laughs> and anyway, it's used. Uh -huh. Windows 10 on this. So we put our little Yep, that'll stick fine. If they're very shallow and they won't stay in and the glue's buggered, I'd just use a, a dob of B700, B7000 I should say. Just for those of you that, that know. Upside down, yeah, of course I always put things in upside down. Okay, that's the, the card, what's he thingy? Holder. Uh, battery. Okay, get rid of those, get rid of that. Yeah. I better give this a clean. Jeez. That's not a problem. Let's give it a clean now. Where's my cleaning fluids? Let me go get it. I'll just pause it, come back and clean it. Uh, and boot to the Strelic, Strelic CD and we'll go and and I'll just show you the benchmark and see what the temperatures are. Okay, so I'm just booting into uh, a Strelic USB here and I'll just enter and you can probably see here I'll just use it up like this rather than me going to another station and setting it up. So this is a boot PE, so no personal information here whatsoever. And I'll give it a good clean. Given it a good clean. <sighs> okay, let's run this benchmark. Okay, so it looks like we haven't had much of a temperature drop at all. It's fluctuating between 81 and 85 up and down, but it is running at full throttle. Okay, I guess um, that's the best it can be, but the job's done, and that's what you wished for, so there you go. Okay, um, hope you like this video, and uh, like and subscribe, please. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.